I'm Garo Kedigan, and you're watching In Bed with Designers on House and Home. Well, my mantra when doing any of my own personal bedrooms is to make it feel like a cocoon because, uh, you know, I have such stressful days. And, uh, you know, for me, a bed canopy is my preference. I love doing them. It's 18th century mahogany. I bought this actually at the Christie's sale in New York. And um, I loved it because it has sort of a, a very delicate nature. The frame starts out very robust, but then it just gets very elegant with the, uh, with the metal above. The Chinoiserie console, um, this is a beautiful piece of furniture. I uh, bought this actually in New York uh, from an estate sale. It's fairly newly made. It was made by a vendor in New York. And when I saw it, I said, you know, it, kind of a, a nice piece to anchor the wall in my bedroom. I knew that I wanted to paint the walls in my bedroom a deep blue color. Blue is my favorite color. Anyone that follows me on Instagram will see. <laughs> There's like a very blue feed going on there. <laughs> And I love blue and black together, so I was like, hmm, this lacquered Japan piece will be the right thing to sort of offset my blue. All the paneling on the walls are original, um, as well as the crown molding. Uh, I had my contractor spend a lot of time sanding it all down. Of course, he wanted to replace it, but uh, you know, when you live in an old house, I always feel like it's more important to try and preserve uh, what you have. And uh, sometimes a little bit of gooped on paint is okay for me. All my rooms in my house are always filled with beautiful objects that I've found and sourced, you know, over many years of shopping the flea markets and, you know, estate sales and things like that. But, but yes, definitely my own bedroom, the favorites come to the top. You know, living in New York City, a good night's sleep is super important because you never get a good night's sleep. And uh, one of the main reasons why I bought my house in Montreal is because I wanted to have a getaway. And uh, this room in particular, it is far from the street and it's super quiet and uh, it really allows me to get the rest that I need. Well, everybody thinks that I do too many pillows, but for me, there are never enough pillows on anything. Of course, none of these pretty pillows are meant for sleeping, so they actually hang out on the floor beside the bed, while all the actual utilitarian pillows are behind. <laughs> I do like to layer the bed with pillows that are custom made. You know, some kidney boudoirs and a neck roll. Um, I, I mix it up, it depends on the bed, uh, only because I feel like that makes your bed so personal. I think so, yes. I, you know, the reason why I don't have a dog or a cat is I'm highly allergic, unfortunately. Um, but uh, I think, yeah, for sure. If I, had a, if I had a pet, they would definitely join me in the bed for sure. <laughs> You have a big fuzzy blanket on your bed. I certainly do. I love this. It's actually faux fur. I would never put a real fur in, but I love it. It's Canada after all, right? It actually comes in very handy in the winter when it's minus 20 outside. Pencils for me are always a release of stress. So that's why I keep a pencil by my bed and with a notepad and I always write down concepts that I remember at night that I don't want to forget for the next morning. Otherwise, it'll be in my head all night and I'll never be able to sleep. I don't keep any digital or media items in my bedroom because I feel like they're distracting. For me, it's like you need to concentrate on sleep when you want to sleep in your bed, not you know checking your emails and taking a nap. If you catch out of the glimpse of the corner of your eye that the light goes on, that there's an email there waiting for you, then you're in trouble. <laughs> So when you're designing a bedroom for a client, what's the first thing you want them to embrace? Well, bedrooms are very personal. So uh, the very first thing I try and do is get a sense whether they're night owls or early birds. For instance, if a, if a room is used heavily at night and they're up late and they're working on the computer at the desk in the bedroom, then I feel like that room needs to have a nighttime personality. Um, but if they're up early, in the morning as I am, and I think that the room really needs to be, you know, responding to that. Because that plays in very much to the understanding of how they will react to, you know, the success of the design of their, of their bedroom. 